Hello, darling. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've come to see you. There was so much to do setting up the festival this week, and then so much to clean up after. I was lucky I was able to come here today. I wish the school would rescind this campus housing policy. I know it's supposed to keep us safe, but I hate having to leave you alone for so long. It feels cruel. I'm going to make it up to you, though. Now that I'm here, you have my undivided attention. How are you feeling? Your restraints aren't chafing anymore, are they? I suppose you not saying anything means they aren't. That's good. It's all right if you don't feel like talking, darling. I have plenty to tell you about the festival anyway. You just sit there and relax. Look, I stopped by the cafe you like so much and got you your favorite drink. I thought it might cheer you up. You've been so melancholy lately. Anyways, the cultural festival was a complete success. I still don't understand why Jiro kept her music a secret until now. She sounded incredible. Everyone had a great time performing. The rest of the student body loved us, and I heard from Midoriya that the girl they rescued from the shy Hisaikai finally smiled. I'll have to show you a recording later. It took a while to clean up the stage, but once we were done, I made sure to go to as many events as I could so I'd have plenty to tell you about. It would have been nice if you could have been there with me, but... Well, let's not worry about that. I can tell you everything. There was a haunted house set up by the general students, an obstacle course, a place to take photographs, and all sorts of food stalls. Class 1B put on a wonderful play. And there was a beauty pageant for any of the female students interested. Kendo from 1B participated. You remember her, right? Darling, are you listening to me? How much longer are you planning to give me the silent treatment? It's been weeks and you haven't said a word. It can't be healthy. You should understand why I'm doing this by now. Things have only been getting more dangerous at UA. Why do you think they had the students move on campus? To keep them from being taken like Bakugo, like you. At this point, I don't think I would have wanted you out of my sight even if you had agreed to drop from the hero course. It's too dangerous out there. It's much better for you to be here, where you're safe. Please, darling. Please try to understand where I'm coming from. You're the most important person in the world to me. I can hardly stand the thought of you getting hurt. This is the only way I can be sure you're safe. So that's it, then? You're just going to sit around and... And sulk? I've gone through all this trouble to keep you safe, comfortable, and as happy as possible, and you won't even speak to me. You're acting like a child, and frankly, I'm getting sick of it. W what? No, I... You finally speak, and it's to ask me if I'll hurt you? Darling. Even when you frustrate me, I love you too much to do something like that. I know you don't like being held here, but please, believe me when I say this much. I would never hurt you. Don't say that. Don't say that. No, I'm not hurting you by keeping you here. I'm keeping you safe. I'm protecting you. Just because you can't seem to understand that, doesn't make it untrue. All I'm doing is keeping you safe. So don't sit there and look at me like I'm... like I'm... some kind of villain. There's no difference to you, is there? Between what I'm doing and what those villains did to you. Even if I'm not hurting you like they did. Even if I'm making sure you're well taken care of. All you can see is me, 
holding you against your will. How did it end up like this? This wasn't supposed to go so wrong. I, I didn't want to keep you locked up like this, chained like some kind of wild animal. I never wanted to make you so unhappy. I just didn't want to lose you again. But I have, haven't I? I can see it in your eyes. You haven't looked at me the same way since you started living here. Most of the time, you won't look at me at all. And when you do, it's like you don't even recognize me. Do you remember when you asked me to be your girlfriend? I remember it like it was yesterday. We'd had combat training that afternoon, and you came up to me to apologize because you'd given me a black eye by mistake. I kept telling you it was fine, and you just kept getting more and more flustered. Finally, you said you wanted to make it up to me and invited me to lunch. I thought you were just trying to be kind. I didn't realize how you felt until you kissed my cheek afterwards. <laughs> I felt like such a fool for not realizing sooner. I couldn't say it then, and I still can't say it now, just how much that meant to me. I'd been so lonely growing up. Just being friends with you and the others was a dream come true. And then finding out you cared so much, I could have lived in that day forever, black eye and all. I promised myself then I was going to put everything I had into our relationship. My heart, my soul, every ounce of love I had. So long as you were safe and happy and we could be together, I didn't need anything else. But that's gone now, isn't it? We could never go back to that. Whatever you felt for me, it's gone. I ruined it. <laughs> I wish I could take this all back. I do. You were in danger in the hero chorus, but I almost feel like I could have lived with that. If it meant you didn't look at me, like you didn't know who I was. Don't you understand? I can't let you go now. You'll tell everyone what I've been doing. I could live with being arrested, even with losing my future as a hero. But I... I can't be alone again. I won't just lose the others. I'll lose you. I'll never see you again. You'll move on and find another girl and I just... I can't live with that. I won't. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry it ended this way, but this is our life now. The sooner both of us can accept it, the better. I'll leave you alone for a little while, I hope. I hope that someday you can look at me the way you looked at me back then. I love you.